let's solve the Aries equation by series solution <clears throat> y double prime minus xy equals zero so we try our series ansatz n equals zero to infinity a sub n x to the n and we substitute it into the Aries equation and we get the sum the first two terms cancel, uh, vanish from taking the second derivative. So n equals 2 to infinity. n times n minus 1. a sub n times x to the n minus 2. Minus multiply y by x. Sum from n equals 0 to infinity. a sub n x to the n plus 1 equals zero. Okay? Now um, we want to write this as a single uh, power series so we need to shift indices so that uh, both terms uh, look like a power series with x to the n. So we need uh, identities here by shifting uh, indices. So uh, the first one we need to uh, shift n up by 2 to make x to the n so then we have to start from n equals 0 so we have the sum from n equals 2 to infinity n n minus 1 times a sub n x to the n minus 2 and then shifting indices so uh, shifting n down by 2 meaning that we have to lift n up here by 2 so we have a n plus 2 n plus 1 a sub n plus 2 x to the n so this is an identity term by term each uh, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side we do the same thing with the second series so n equals 0 to infinity a sub n x to the uh, n plus 1. Here now we uh, we starting at 1 so instead of uh, 0 we shift up to 1 so n equals 1 to infinity and then uh, all of these have to come down by 1 so we have an a sub n minus 1 x to the n okay now we go back to our uh, differential equation and we're going to be taking the first sum minus the second sum um, the x to the n term will is in common so we can add the coefficients and the problem that we see here is that this term this first sum has an extra term at n equals zero that's the constant term. So we need to pull that term out explicitly and then we can add uh, this, the rest of the terms together from n equals 1 to infinity. So the n equals 0 term is 2 times 1 times a sub 2. So the n equals 0, the uh, constant term is 2 a sub 2. And then we add the sum from n equals 1 to infinity and then uh, we can add these um, coefficients so we have an n plus 2 times uh, n plus 1 a sub n plus 2 and remember there's a minus sign here so minus a sub n minus 1 and this is the coefficient of the x to the n term and this is zero. So the left hand side is a power series. The constant term is exhibited explicitly and then in the sum here are the term proportional to x, the term proportional to x squared, etc. So when we have a power series equal to zero it means that all the coefficients of x in that power series must be equal to zero. So we get 2a2 equals zero which is the same as saying a2 equals 0 right? from the constant term 
and we get the bracket term equals zero, which is our recursion relation. So we get a sub n plus two is equal to a sub n minus one over n plus two times n plus one. Okay? And that's our recurrence relation. So <coughs> the recurrence relation will give us um, three sequences, right? Um, depending on how we start. So if we start with n equals one, right, then this one, so, so if we start with n equals one, then we, we have an a zero here, and then n equals one, a zero, that will give us a sub three. So a th sub three will be given in terms of a zero. And then we use n equals four here to have an a three, and n equals four will give us an a six. And uh, n equals seven here, we'll have an a six here, and that will give us an a nine, and so on. So starting at n equals 1, we specify a0, and we can compute a3, a6, and a9. Okay, so that's one sequence. If we start at n equals 2 instead, then we have an a1, which is free to be anything. And given a1, n equals 2, then we compute a4. Then we put n equals 5 here on, on this term here. We have an a4 here. And when n equals 5, we compute a7. We see we're going up by 3 each time, so the next term will be a10. And similarly, we start with a3. Then we have a, a2 here. 3 minus 1 is 2. And we compute a5. And again, we go up by 3, so we get a8 and a11. And then we'll have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this will cover all of the coefficients. Okay. Now, one of our conditions is a2 equals 0. So a2 equals 0, but then a5 is equal to a constant times a2. a8 is a constant times a5, and so on. So if a2 is equal to 0, we immediately find that a2 equals a5 equals a8 equals a11. All of these coefficients are 0. Okay, So that takes care of this third one. So that remains now to find only two, two of these sequences. Uh, so let me put this over here. So the first one is to find a zero, given a zero. We want to find a three, a six, a nine. So we can uh, use the recursion relation now. So a three is uh, n equal to four here. n equal to, sorry, a three would be n equal to one here. So a3 is equal to a0, n equal to 1, over 3 times 2, right? We've got uh, the next term, a6, corresponds to n equal to 4. So that would be a3 over 6 times 5. which is a0 over 6 times 5 times 3 times 2, right? Um, we can leave it like that. Uh, a6, and then the last one that I want to compute is a9. So a9 is, um, corresponds to n equals 7 here, so it's a6 over 9 times 8, 
a6 over 9 times 8 is a0 over 9 times 8, skip 7, 6 times 5, skip 4, 3 times 2. So that's the first sequence, right? <clears throat> so uh, <clears throat> that gives us um, one of the uh, series, which we'll recover later. Uh, the next one, the next sequence, we start with A1, okay? And then um, we go ahead and compute A4. So A4 corresponds to N equal to 2. So it will be A1 over 2 plus 2 is 4 times 3. Then we have the next one, A7, corresponds to uh, n equals 5, so it's A4 over 7 times 6, which is A1 over 7 times skip 6, skip 5, 4 times 3. And the last one is uh, A10. So A10 is uh, put in uh, n equals 8, is A7 over uh, 8 times plus 2 is 10 times 9. A7 is A1, so we have 10 times 9, we skip 8, 7 times 6, we skip 5, 4 times 3. Okay. So now we have these two sequences. So one of them is each of the coefficients proportional to A0. And the second one, each of the coefficients is proportional to A1. So what we've done is we've found two series solutions for y of x. The first one has all the coefficients proportional to A0, this one. So the first term in the series is A0 times x to the 0, which is a 1 here, right? The second term in the series will be a3 times x cubed, so that will be uh, x cubed over 3 times 2, right? This one. The next term is uh, a6 times x to the 6, so plus x to the 6 over 6 times 5 times 3 times 2. And then finally, and the ones that we're writing explicitly, will be x to the ninth over 9 times 8 times 6 times 5 times 3 times 2, and then so on. Okay? Plus our second series, A1, starts with A1, A1 times x, right? And then the next series, the next term will be a4, which is x to the fourth, plus x to the fourth over 4 times 3. The next one is a7, so it's x to the seventh over 7 times 6 times 4 times 3. And then x to the tenth over 10 times 9 times 7 times 6 times 4 times 3 plus other terms. So what we found then are two series solutions, which I can call y0 and y1. And y0 and y1 are called Aries functions. Okay? <clears throat>